woman who had just bought this home in Southeast Houston was preparing to renovate it, but when she showed up Saturday to the house that was supposed to be on Wiggins Street, it was gone. So she called us and we spent the day digging into what happened. Our Courtney Fisher discovered the city tore it down. That's what precinct two deputies and neighbors tell us. But Courtney, this woman says that she was never notified about what happened. Yeah, Myra, you know, in the last 90 minutes, big developments in this story. We just got it confirmed from the city that their crews tore the house down back on February 22nd. They say, though, that it ordered it be demolished back two years ago, April 2021. So it took two years for it to happen. They say they never notified this woman because she wasn't the owner back then. Guys, this is where the house was. You can see now just a post with the address, not even a sign of the foundation. So the bottom line is at this point, the woman bought the house. The house is no longer here and she basically wants some answers. The homes on Wiggins Street have been here since the 50s, well established, and that's why Lakshmi Nagaraj says she bought here. Uh, before bidding any property, we have to do research on the property. Lakshmi had her eye on this little greenhouse, 8511 Wiggins. The first time home buyer knew this was home. So on February 7th, the HISD substitute teacher bid $57,000 for the property at the monthly Harris County tax sale auction and won. She paid cash in full and started prepping for renovations as she waited for the deed. The paperwork showed up Saturday, so on Sunday, four and a half weeks after Lakshmi bought the place, she came to check on her house and it was gone. And no one is telling me who is accountable. No one informed me anything. That's all I know. Now I have a deed. I have a lot. Home just disappeared. She called Precinct 2, the agency that runs the auction. Deputies and neighbors both tell us contract crews with the city tore Lakshmi's house down within the last few weeks. She says she wasn't notified. No one informed me. No one cared about me as if I don't feel like I'm living in Houston. I'm in third world country where there is no law and order. Lakshmi saved for six years to buy this house. If it was set for demolition, why was she able to buy it? If the city tore it down by mistake, when and how does she get her money back? Questions we're still asking. There is somewhere something wrong, not right. Yeah. And I'm the victim of someone else's mistake. And I want justice, that's it. A mistake, you can't argue that. We now know that the city had the order to demolish the house. So the big question at this point is, why was she able to buy it from the county? We are still looking into this story. And of course, we'll keep you posted. For now, reporting live, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Quite